Uh, sir, uh, can you tell me anything about the bus schedule? Bus? You know, bus? <laughs> bus! Uh, yes, uh, bus, to Maloya. It was supposed to have been here three hours ago. Can you tell me anything about the Maloya bus? Uh, bus? He's very big. <laughs> Very bad shape, too. They leak oil. Uh, I don't want to buy it. I want to ride in it. You want to? You are a strange here. Yeah? All right. When will it be here? It could be our here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, two, three. No, nine. That's the middle of the night. It don't travel at night. Headlights. No work. Tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah. Tomorrow? I could starve by then. No thanks, I'll manage. Ah, listen. Ah, the, the, the bus is coming. Where? I don't see it. Ah, it there's no bus. You are happy now? Ah, happy. Oh, delirious. <laughs> driver of your bus. He'll never make it. Uh, no, he don't make it. He buy it from the junkyard. <laughs> Boy, he got gypped. <laughs> Urbano! You have a new passenger? I know, I know. Welcome. Welcome to the bus of Urbano Riago. My highest greetings to you, Mr. Payul Mead. Is correct? Uh, that's close. Paul Mead. Oh, my pardon. Payul Mead. <laughs> you better hurry to Meloya before dark, or you'll end up in the ditch again. In the ditch again? Does this happen often? Oh, no. Only when we slip off the road. <laughs> Only when you... S that's great. <laughs> About how long does this joyride take? Depends if nobody falls off going around the curves. We made pretty fast time. <laughs> Climb on. Climb on where? I couldn't get in there with a shoehorn. Oh, plenty of room. Uh, Mrs. Puyat. No, no, Mrs. No. Puyat, I find your room in back. I pay money for me. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, Senora. That's all right, Mr. Paul Mead. You're an American girl? <laughs> right on both counts. What are you doing here? I teach school here. In this town? No, in Malloy. I just came in to buy some books for my class. My name is... Uh, no, thank you. What is your name? Jenny Lawrence. My dad's the island representative for the U.S. Pacific Commissioner staff. Is it always like this? Oh, no, you should see it when it's crowded. See? Plenty of room. <laughs> You will see the beautiful... Mr. Payul, you scared? Who, me? <laughs> then why you keep living on the road like that? I figure one of us ought to keep his eye on it. <laughs> but if you just look at road, we are missing the beautiful trees. <laughs> We're not missing them by much, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Payul, maybe you have a wife back home in Milan, huh? No, I'm not married. <laughs> and at this rate, I never will be. <laughs> Mr. Payul not come here to find wife. You're going to build a water system. But not if our fine council Lieutenant Araka can help it. You know what we call Araka? Lieutenant Stick in the Mud. <laughs> I don't get it. Felix Araka is the man who hired me. Sure, but you know why? To watch the road. Because the councilman, and I'm one, we voted for you over the top of his head. But why would he... Mr. Mead, you might as well know, a rocker does not want piped in water. That's ridiculous. You, you make him sound like some kind of a tyrant who, who wants women to go on hauling water in big jars on their heads. Who do you think sells them those jars? <laughs> oh, no. He's got a racket? <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> He fell off. Him again? I will pick him up on the next trip. Oh, no. Stop now. No. But today is his birthday.
birthday. <laughs> we got to stop and celebrate. <laughs> Hurry up, Uncle. Happy birthday. <laughs> Here we are, Mr. Payul. Here we are where? Well, what's this? The house of the Saldaro family, where you stay. Where I stay? Oh, no, no, no. I, I wrote to the hotel for reservations. Hotel? Oh, no. That would be a difficulty. What do you mean, difficulty? Well, for one thing, the problem of the bugs. Bugs? Well, can't they find a way to get rid of the bugs? They did. They burned the hotel down. <laughs> Take this place, Mr. Mead. It's the best in town, really. Nice family. Well, if you say so, I... I can tell you one thing, I don't like the looks of that doorman. Oh, welcome. Welcome. The house of Bernard Zaldaro is now house of Mr. Paiwo Mead. Oh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Zaldaro, but I, I'm afraid I'm imposing on you people. Who imposing? It is our honor to have Great engineer from mainland in our hardly good for nothing house. Come, I introduce you to my family. Uh, thank you, Mr. Zaldaro. One moment, please. Uh, will I be seeing you again, Miss uh, Lawrence? In a town like this, it's hard to avoid it. Good luck, Paul. Thank you, uh... Jenny. Jenny. See you, Jenny. Luggage is all in. Honor, take good care of our engineer. I will, I will. Th uh, this way, Mr. Paiul, this way. <laughs> Do not be frightened of Ruby. She is like a like a little kitten. You wouldn't be frightened of a kitten, would you? No, no. I uh, most kittens don't have horns like that. This way, please. <laughs> Come in, Mr. Mead. Maleta, Maleta. The joy of my life. This is the guest of our house, Mr. Pio Mead. May the winds of fortune favor you in your days under our roof. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Otaro. Tanika, Tanika. And this is our jewel, Tanika. May you live here in contentment. Oh, thank you, Tanika. I, I don't know how anyone could do otherwise here. And these are our sons, Jolo, the big one, Jolo. Hi, Jolo. Hi. But it is not Jolo like Papa says. It is Joe, like in, hey, what do you know, Joe? <laughs> well, what do you know, Joe? Nothing. <laughs> and the little one, the little one, Darby. Hi, Darby. I hope you have, uh, I hope you, I forgot what I was supposed to hope you. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Whatever it was, I'm sure it's just what I wanted. Hey, you like the Beatles? Oh, no, no not here, too. You want to go down Trino's Cafe and listen hey, to listen the... Hey, listen, I told you, no hanging around the jukey box. <laughs> listen, Mr. Mead, a very long, hard airplane trip. His bones are supplicating for the bed. You understand? Correct? Uh, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am a bit beat. Now, children, quick, where's the luggage? Oh, there, there, here, get it into the room now. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Go, 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 go. Come, I, I, I show you to your room. This room is, is worse than nothing, of course, uh, but it have all modern. It has electric to see. Goes on every night almost and stays on two hours. Lieutenant Baraka says this great benefit and we must enjoy every minute if it kills us. <laughs> so we do. <laughs> Here. You see? The running water. <laughs> Basilio. Out, Basilio. <laughs> this is now a private room. <laughs> Look, please, you people don't have to do all this for me. Oh, it is nothing. It is our pleasure. But I can do this myself. Oh, no, no, no. You are our guest. Fried bananas for happy dreams. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Zaldaro. I'm sure you folks want to go to bed, too, don't you? Oh, no, no, we cannot go to bed. You don't mean to say I've got the only bed. Oh, no, 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 plenty of beds upstairs. It's the electric, you see. We cannot go to bed because the electric is still... <laughs> ah, now we can. The electric is off. All right, let's go to bed, please. To bed. Happy night. Uh, happy night. And sleep contented, Mr. Paiute. Happy night. Happy night. Happy 
Which way? You must not hurry so much, Mr. Payo. It's bad for the pressure of the blood. You sitting around here four days trying to get this meeting with your Lieutenant Araka isn't good for the pressure of my blood either. Well, maybe the meeting don't mean anything. I'll make it mean something. Oh, maybe Araka just want to fly you. Boy, I sure am glad I've got you to cheer me up. <laughs> Where are we going? Right here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, let's go in here. Oh, no, we don't have time to eat. We're sitting hall. This is it. <laughs> Make room. Make room. The meeting has already started. I see we have more complaints about our bus. It's never come on time. The short bulging one doing all the talking is Felix Araka. Figures. The only time safe to interrupt him is after he has shut up. Got it, coach. I'll follow your game plan. Has everybody got it straight? Yes! Yes, yes. Now we come to matter of uh, holes in Pilro. Orsino, you are road commissioner. Yes, yes. The holes are truly there, Felix, but some are not big. I think it's best if you wait until all the holes are big and we can do the whole job at one time. <laughs> all vote aye. 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 Vote passed. <laughs> now we come to matter of water system. We yes. now have report of Mr. Payul Me, <laughs> who is of U.S. engineering firm Malcolm Morrison Schultz, Incorporated, <laughs> here, who was hired by me to build a water system. Okay, now. <laughs> council Lieutenant Araka, members of the council. The first thing I would like Urbano, to... Urbano, go tell Trino we'll be ready for tea at the end of this report, which will not take long. <laughs> The first thing I would like to propose is to prepare a preliminary map showing suitable locations for the pipeline, pumping stations, check dams. One moment. We better appoint committee in charge of this map. No, that won't be necessary. This water project of much importance to us. We must do everything with carefulness. So I want volunteer for map committee head. No, 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 not you, Orsino. <laughs> Goompa, I appoint you to volunteer. <laughs> Council Lieutenant. I accept the volunteering with great honor. <laughs> well, now that we have a, a map head, <laughs> the next basic matter is finance. How much money do we have for construction? One moment. Money? We better appoint another committee. Mr. Araki. Okay, Orsino. Your turn to volunteer. I accept with great joy and gratification. I shall perform with high perfection as the head of the committee of the... Uh, what am I head of? Money! Ah, <laughs> oh, good speech, I'll say. Is there anything else? Anything else? Mr. Araka, we haven't even started. We have to discuss materials, labor, type of pump, filtration, mm. watership. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> the matter of the labor force. Ah, he's here. We need to know how many laborers, skilled, unskilled. Ah, oh, nice case. Yes, yes I mean, extra, Felix. Urbano, what do you think? I am a map head. You look at the same. It's all for the Some hot tatsy meeting, huh? You said it. Yes, now look, fellas, we're going to have to do some hotsy tatsy work around. One must not discuss business at tea. Bad for indigestion. <laughs> Very well. Gentlemen, here's to freedom from indigestion. <laughs> committees. All he did was appoint a lot of useless committees. Naturally. He even appointed Trino as one. Trino? He's not on the council. Oh, who cares? I figure the kind of dough he mixes, he'd be great at mixing cement. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, no. Trino calls himself Big Cement Head. <laughs> now look, Paul, I ran into this same kind of stone wall when I started teaching school. You must have patience. I must have rocks in my head for ever taking this job. All right, it takes time. Now you have Bonar on your side. Bonar, he's as bad as the others. Oh, not really, and as long as you're living in his house. That's something else I'm not sure I can stand much longer. What? But they're wonderful people. Oh, sure, they're wonderful. They're, they're wonderfling me to death. Oh, now you... I can't even put on my pajamas out there without wrestling somebody for them. They just want to help. No privacy at all. You see, in Maloya, if a family fails to make you feel happy, it's big disgrace. Well, oh, boy, I've had it. Look, Paul, about this council thing, the thing to do is plant a seed. Check. 
I'll start a little garden, then we'll forget the whole thing. No, no, plant a seed, an idea, and let it grow. Start working on Bonar. Like how? Induce him to do a really bang-up job on his committee, and that will shame the others into trying to outdo him. Well, I'll, I'll talk to him, but... No, in Maloya, you have to be more indirect. Uh, it's not considered proper here to be too direct. So how do you do it? Oh, different ways. They love parables. And... Uh, parables? <laughs> I can just see me sitting Bonar on my knee while I tell him a parable. All right, if you're just going to make fun of my suggestions. Oh, wait, Jenny, I, I appreciate it. I, it's just that my engineering course has never mentioned that this is the way you build a water system. Well, work it out in your own way. And rots of rock, Mr. Payul. I've got to get back to school. Bye. <laughs> Greetings of the Loring Sun. Oh, no, with water so tough to get, isn't that uh, a waste? What can I do? When I tell Ruby that I am now big committee head, she said, I must now have proper look for such a master. <laughs> Ruby said that? With her eyes, she talks. Smart as Calabau in Meloia. Just look at that face of intelligence. <laughs> I'm surprised Araka hasn't appointed her head of a committee. <laughs> uh, Bonar, uh, would uh, Ruby like to hear a little pe a little uh, story? Oh, yes. When I tell the children a little story, <laughs> Ruby likes to listen, too. Well, good. She liked especially the little story I tell about a frog. Well, uh, the one I had in mind is hardly about a frog. No, no, it could be. Why not? Oh, sure, why not? Uh, this is sort of a, a parable. Uh, you know what that is, Bonar? Oh, sure. A parable is a story which one tells one thing, which is not what he is telling, to tell what he means but don't. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> well, Ruby, this story uh, is about a little frog named uh, Fred. Now, you listen good, Ruby. Now, Fred left his home and he went to an island to live and work with the local frogs there. <laughs> you got that, Ruby? But Fred was hampered in his work because he couldn't get the proper help from the local frogs. Oh, they, they meant well, but they, they kept putting off what they should have been doing. Now, this made Fred Frog very sad. But then, one day, he got an idea. He picked out the smartest local frog. And he said to the smart frog, Sir, you could make me very happy by, by taking the lead and doing a bang-up job with, uh, with what you should be doing. Well, the, the smart frog, being a good fellow, did that. And he won Fred's gratitude and praise. Well, this made the other local frogs envious. And they started trying to outdo the smart frog. And soon, great things were accomplished. And Fred became a very happy frog. Uh, did you like that, Ruby? <laughs> Ruby thinks story have deep meaning. Deep meaning. Uh, excuse, please. Thanks, Ruby. You and Jenny are the two smartest girls in town. <laughs> Maleta, Maleta, our friend Payul. We know, we heard his story. Oh, he is sad frog. Yes. And he make it very clear why. We have not been taking good enough care of him here. My cooking is bad, you think? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe too many fried bananas, but... The bed is too hard. Electric stand too late. I know. He misses rock and roll music. So we might train those jockey box Stop for him. Stop talking foolishness. Well, now we are a disgrace. What do we do? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? I got it. We do everything. A smart frog, I take lead, and you locals try to outdo me. You got it? Now get off! Who is it? 
happiest greetings of the dawn. My fondest wish is that the caress of night has rested on you bloomingly. Greetings. I bring you hot water for the shade. Hey, I got towels. You sleep nice? What is this? Rock and roll, Gator. You get other shoes to be shy? This is all I can find. Oh, now, hold on. I feel like I'm being rushed through a car wash. Joy of the morning. I have removed the wrinkles of your shirt. Mrs. Aldara, you should. Oh, is it not iron well? Oh, it's ironed beautifully, but you... you Hey, you like to hear it called my little local frog? Local frog? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes, Mr. Me. Oh, no! <laughs> I hope you're better at picking melons than you are giving advice. Hi, Paul. I planted that little seed you suggested. Oh, good. And reaped the biggest crop of thistle you ever saw. What? For Bonar's benefit, I, I told a nice little parable to that stupid cow. <laughs> to Ruby? Bonar got the idea I was criticizing his family, not the council. Oh, my. Now it's unbearable out there. I, I can't inhale without three local frogs helping me exhale. <laughs> frogs! Mr. Payul, how you like being surprised? Surprise? What surprise? Didn't you see your new... Uh-oh. I bet I opened my big mouth and let the monkey out of the bag. Urbano, what are you saying? Oh, no, no. You get nothing out of me. Bonard would never forgive me if I spilled about his new furniture. My new furniture? They can't afford that. But I got it for them cut price. <laughs> oh, this, this is too much. That does it. Come on, Jenny. I've got to stop those local frogs. Oh, wait, you've got to learn that it's... Learn, hard. okay, learn. But I've got to show you that learning is a two-way street. Come on. <laughs> I hope all of this make our frog friend happy. We should have bought him Juki Box. That's for sure give him big kick. Yes, you don't keep quiet. You know who gets the big kick. Yeah, I know. Shh, I think I hear him come. Mr. Zaldaro. Oh, listen, this is not the way to deal with we'll these people. We'll see about that. Mr. Zaldaro. You don't crash head on. You have to Mr. be... Mr. Bayou, we have for you a small, insignificant surprise. I know, I know. New furniture, huh? He is. It's very, very nice. Oh, wonderful. Please take it back. Take it back. And then now, don't look so hurt. In the first place, you can't afford it, and you know it. In the second place, I don't need it. Give it out, you. I'm going to shine it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dobby, there'll be no more shining my shoes. I can handle that myself, okay? Please, what Paul means What Paul is... means is that you people are the nicest, most wonderful people I've known, and, and I've learned things from you, things like patience and humility. But there are, there are other virtues, too. My country, we, we value forthrightness and directness. Now, we, have a, we have an expression, getting things off your chest. And that's what I'm trying to do now. First, when I'm working in my room, unless I have privacy, I can't get anything done. And secondly, I appreciate all the wonderful things you do. But if I'm to live here, you've got to stop treating me like an honored guest. Treat me as as you would Jolo here. You'd be sorry you said that. You mean <laughs> that will make you cross what happens? That's it. Just, just let me be one of you. Oh, how about that? Son, welcome to the family of Bonar Zoldaro. We promise we treat you as terrible as we treat each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jenny, anything else you want to know about us Maloyans? I give up. <laughs> uh, one thing, son. That parable of the frog, I, I think I must have missed the deep significance. Oh, forget that. That was just a harebrained idea I picked up from uh, some foreigner I know. <laughs> oh, that not so brain head. What say we use it on the councilman, huh? I be smart frog to bang up job, they get envious, try to outdo me and holler. The water system is gonna be built, huh? <laughs> That's a wonderful idea you have there, Mr. Zoldaro. You do that. I will, right today. Oh, no, no, no. Tomorrow is better. Get earlier start tomorrow. Ah, no, wait. Tomorrow festival of the rice planting. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's not good. No, not that day. Have to rest up from the festival. <laughs> what thirst? No, thirst is the haircut day. <laughs> Friday? Yes, Friday. But Bernard, Friday is Ruby's birthday. Ah, how could I forget that? Son, uh, next week for sure we... Next week nothing. You mean... That that cow's birthday means more to you than the water system? Bonar, forget Ruby. You're, you're coming with me. Right now, you and I are going out and... Pick 
out a nice birthday present for Ruby. 